everyone. Today we are going to talk about the six easy ways to save money. And this can be for anyone. It does, you don't have to be heading towards retirement right now. It really is applicable, I would say, to pretty much anyone. Yep. So I would say the first thing, and I think it's a pretty big one, is cooking at home versus eating out. And I'm not just talking about going to fine dining restaurants. Really going out to fast food is remarkably expensive these days. You know, the days of a $1.50 uh, meal at McDonald's where you get a burger, fries, and a drink are long gone. Uh, long, long gone. <laughs> <laughs> I might be uh, sort of saying my age there. <laughs> right, yeah, you're admitting to something. <laughs> yes. But I was finding that really when we were cooking our meals at home, I could pretty much do an entire week's worth of grocery shopping, even with our family of four, for about $150 a week and um, if we weren't eating out. Of course, when we were starting adding in, uh, starting to add in some more, you know, takeout type meals or even taking the whole family out for a sit down dinner, really, the cost added up pretty quickly. Oh, yeah, I don't even know if you can go to McDonald's for four people for less than $40. I mean, it's Maybe pretty not. expensive. Depends yeah. on how much your kids eat as well. So uh, anyway, we, we actually don't eat out that often. Actually, we prefer to eat at home because we like the food that we make. We've really perfected a lot of dishes that- And it's healthier, you know, and the older you get, you start thinking about things like that more so you know what's in your food counts so we can we can really keep an eye on that yes yeah, so definitely yeah. you can save money by eating at home yep okay so the second way easy way to save money is shopping less maybe shopping once a week uh, it's interesting but before the pandemic we used to shop every day it was ridiculous we would Oh, we, we need this for dinner. We forgot to get that. And we would be running in and out of the grocery store, like literally every day. And we would always come out with more than we went in for. And I think it was the pandemic that kind of changed our habits because we were, we were kind of trying not to go into the grocery stores frequently. And we would create a meal plan for the week. And, you know, um, we would write down, okay, what are we going to have for dinner? And, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the whole thing, uh, lunches, breakfasts, and then we would decide what we needed to uh, create that meal plan. And that would be our grocery list. And, you know, of course, we would still come out with more than we went in for. Um, and maybe through the week, we would run out of something that we forgot about and we have to run and get it, which once again, we go and get it plus things we didn't know we needed. Uh, but the less you walk into that grocery store, the more money you will save. Absolutely. And now, of course, you can even order it online and they will come and bring it to your car and you can just pick it up. Yeah. So that will also stop the temptation to purchase things uh, at in random parts of the store that you weren't actually anticipating on That's getting. That's true. That is true. Yes. Yeah. So the next, uh, the next item that I would say is the easiest way to save money is looking at your subscriptions. Now, most people have Netflix, Hulu, Spotify, HBO Max, etc. And you really need to look at those. Do you really watch everything on those uh, on those subscriptions? Maybe you can do without one or two of them. And individually, they don't cost that much money. But when you start adding them up, twenty dollars here. $15, $20 there, the next thing you know, you know, you're spending 60, 70, maybe more, and you might not actually need all of those subscriptions. Yeah, we would find that we're spending most of our time watching maybe one or two of them. And then maybe for an entire month or two, we hadn't even opened, like we had Max, HBO Max, and we hadn't watched it in a couple of months. And uh, so, yeah monitoring those and also you know you don't have to stay that's no contract you can subscribe to one for a month or two and if you find you've used all the content that you're interested in you can drop it and then bring it back in a few months if they launch some new shows that you're interested in but you can definitely cut your budget 
by looking at your subscriptions. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and please leave a comment. Maybe there are some things that you thought of, of ways to save money that we have not included in our video. Yep, please do. So the next big item is your cars. Uh, do you need two cars? You might even have three cars, I don't know. But you know, when you're um, retiring, uh, even if you're not retiring, you might not need the number of vehicles that you have. And you might think to yourself, and, and we're in this situation, we paid off our car. So, you know, we don't have a car payment. Obviously, if you have a car payment and you can sell a car, that reduces your monthly budget by a huge amount. But even without a car payment, um, my car is, we bought it new and we've had it for quite a long time. And guess what? It needs a timing belt. That's $1,400. It just needed tires, which I had to put on. It needs brakes. It needs, you know, it's reaching a point where things are starting to go wrong with it. And although it's well worth fixing them versus buying a new car, uh, these costs add up. So maintenance adds up. Um, and so, you know, when you, when you don't need two cars, dumping one of the cars is definitely a good way to save some money. Absolutely. And I don't know if you mentioned insurance as well. Oh yeah, but... insurance, right? Mm -hmm. The next item is internet. You should really shop around. You know, ask yourself, do you need the fastest internet that costs the most money? Maybe not. Maybe if you're obviously, if you're working from home and you do need it and you've got kids that use up the internet uh, speed and everything, then you're gonna definitely need to um, probably have faster internet. But if it's just the two of you, like it is just us now, right? then maybe we don't need the fastest internet at the most expensive price. So yeah, that's... and we're not, um, we're not uh, streaming, you know, Netflix and three different devices all at once. We'll be streaming it on one device. And I, I'm sure we could go way slower on our internet connection than we have right now. And that's a great way to save money. Uh, and the next one, which is kind of connected in a way, is your cell phone plans. Um, you know, obviously the more people on your plan, the, the cheaper per line. So, um, you know, if your kids are adults and they're working, it might actually be cost effective for you as a family group to have four phones and get your monthly rate down because I know we got ours down to $30 a month per person and that's for unlimited internet and calling and everything uh, which is a pretty good deal but if it's just the two of you shop around um, I know there's a lot of uh, discount carriers that use the major networks for their service uh, like Mint Mobile and T-Mobile and Sprint and all these, you know, shop around, look for the best rate. I'm sure that you can save money on your uh, cell phone plan. Oh, and one more thing too, look at your usage. You might have not actually need unlimited data. If you're not using that much data, the cell phone plans become much cheaper, like $15, $20 a month for a smaller uh, data package. Well, we hope that these tips give you some ideas to save money. And like I said before, please comment and let us know if there's anything that you think uh, we've missed. And I'm sure there are plenty of ways to save money. So please go ahead and uh, comment below. Yep. And if we like the ideas, we'll make another video about it. And like, subscribe, comment, please. We will be releasing a video every week and uh, we'd love to see you again. Thanks. See you later.